For as long as we've known each other, we've always talked about doing some sort of van conversion. The only problem is we don't own a van. But what we do own is this 2011 Mitsubishi Outlander. It might not be as big. It might not have as much space. Probably better than my Honda Fit. So in this video, we'll show you the entire process of us converting our car into a camper. First and foremost, a much overdue and badly needed deep clean. This was years in the making followed by the removal of the back seats. And holy crap, dude, if you have never dealt with car seats before, let me tell you, they are heavy AF. Oh. Get up, hey, I just cleaned that, man. Next thing we're gonna do is we're actually be driving to Joel's folks place. They have a proper workshop there, and that's where the real work will begin. But first, we had to make a stop at none other than the Home Depot. We had to pick up some plywood, uh, some screws, various other supplies to go along with the build. And just our luck, lumber has become the new gold standard. And uh, just like that, a quick 300 bones was gone. <laughs> So coming into this thing, we had two build ideas in mind. Option A was to build the platform above the wheel wells and maximize the sleeping space while maximizing the storage space underneath with two big drawers. Or option B was to cut the sleeping platform in half and then build some sort of counter or desk space on the other side of uh, of the car. Ultimately, we went with option A. The fact that there's gonna be two of us sleeping in this thing a lot of the time. It just made more sense. Step one was to make the two boxes. The best way with plywood like this is to plug it This is Joel's dad, Mio. And if it wasn't for his help and guidance, this build would have turned out a whole lot different. So I'm gonna need to do holes like this. Starting out here, we're just building the boxes. They're gonna act for storage to hold like our kitchen stuff maybe some camping stuff, maybe some clothing, we're not really sure yet, but they're also gonna act as support for the sleeping platform. And on this box, you'll notice that we installed two rails. This is for our table that you'll see a little bit later on, but it's for eating and cooking, whatever else you need a table for. Okay, go down, 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 down. Okay, push it. Okay, slide it. Oh, it fits. It fits, but it's a bit high, you can see. I can easily, easily get two inches of additional room. So it's going to be lower, like two inches, but then you're going to have more headroom. And just do that for both. And. I know two inches doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're thinking about the platform on top, had your base another inch, the mattress maybe another two inches, like you're getting pretty tight there. So I guess any inch yep. you can save right yep. now is is going to pay dividends down the road. So I think so. It's a it's a long term investment. Long term. <laughs> the fit couldn't have been better, except that it was about an inch and a half too high. So we took her back to the workshop. We unscrewed it. We took about an inch and a half off both boxes. Put it back together and gave her another try. Oop. That's actually, that's perfect. On this side, might have to do a bit of a specialty cut, right? Yep. To get around exactly. that. Uh, yep. The stupid car has two different wheel wells, which is convenient. What do you think? Couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. I think it's perfect. <laughs> Oh, you see the difference? Yeah, uh, five star. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about it, actually. Oh, <laughs> oh ho, ho, look at that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, yes, it does. It's just perfect. Of, of sanding, it's, this is not sanded or anything, right? So it's going to slide like, I don't know. But... This is what we're looking at after the first day. Um, pretty, pretty well two identical storage boxes. This one has the table that you saw. And the next step is gonna be building pull-out drawers. Heading into the second day of the build, we were hoping to get our drawer and the platform all finished up. The bottom 
would not be exactly flush. It would be the bottom would be at about maybe a quarter of an inch from the bottom there. So when you think about the, when this slides, the whole bottom doesn't touch the other surface. This 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 bit of a, of a gap so that it's free. And the only friction, the only friction would be these two like like two rails. We opted not to buy an actual rail system on wheels. Uh, one reason is because we couldn't find one. <laughs> And also it's super expensive. So we designed the wooden drawer in, the, in such a way that it would slide with limited friction, even under weight. I know. But the handle is going to be there. Oh, that's, that's going to be perfect. This is the finished, basically a finished, finished? 90% finished. Very pleased with how it fit and how it actually slides. And the last thing I did was just add these little stoppers here without having any rollers, just yeah. a little wax, a little sanding. It's and that thing is heavy still despite that. Right. It's unreal. Things got a little bit tricky here for a minute. The platform ended up being so large that we couldn't get it in the car in one piece. So I had to cut her in half, put each half in by itself, and then reattach the platform as one on the inside. And there she is, just adding the final screws to keep everything together, and she was good to go. So we've made it back home. I guess the build or the construction part of the build is complete or at least like 90% of the way there, I think. We still need to think about how we want to accessorize it. But now that we're back, I guess we'll just take you through a final walkthrough of what we've done and um, kind of how we've done it. All me. Yes. All the well, she did a lot of it. <laughs> so we'll start with this bad boy here. Before you do that, check out the hardware. So we added yes. some and fancy handles. <laughs> Smooth that is. On a scale of one to 10, how easy was that to pull out? Give it a 10. In here, we plan on putting all our cooking stuff. <clears throat> Maybe just like miscellaneous other stuff. We'll have our camping stove that fits in here, hopefully. Probably some propane. Propane. Cutlery. Yeah, all the kitchen stuff. <laughs> Pots and pans. Kitchen stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't have to worry about pulling it too far because we have those little stoppers here. And then we have my favorite part, our table. So we're gonna do our cooking, our eating. Hopefully we'll get some nice tall stools so that we can uh, do this. <laughs> you know what, we could probably like sit down here for now. That's a good idea, yeah. on the tailgate. We may add a tension pole of some sort um, just for extra support, but it's pretty sturdy. We drew a line here to tell us when we've reached our our max. So ideally, we're gonna keep it at that line. And then we have this big open storage here, where we can put some of our camping stuff, um, anything that's a bit longer, like fishing rods. Oh, fishing rods. <laughs> Fishing tackle boxes. Yeah, so there's no limit on length, which is great. And on this side, we have a little bit more space, just the way that the wheel wells kind of are laid out. There's more space on this side, so this is probably where we're going to end up putting our cooler. And we got tons of storage under here, so that's going to be great too. Be able to put lots of stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> the hell was that? So the last thing you guys saw us build was the platform. 
And if you look in here now, you can see how it's kind of put together. It's, like I said before, we had to cut it into two pieces just to fit it in the car. But this is screwed on to our two boxes. And then if you come around this way, we have a couple pieces. I think these are like a two by three. Basically, we're just here to one, keep it level and and B, keep everything kind of secure. We obviously, we had a pretty significant gap. We built a couple legs and then underneath the platform, there's the kind of just, I don't know what you'd call this, but just kind of like a um, more support for legs to keep them held in place, but keeps everything really secure. We had to slam on our brakes coming home really hard because of a moose and nothing shifted out of place. So we're really happy with that. <laughs> Oh, hey, no, down. <laughs> this is bigger than our actual bed. We've got quite a bit of headroom still. I know we don't have the mattress on top, but Chester, it's just a little tight, but it's not too bad. There you have it. That is it for, I guess, the, the building part of the conversion. We're really starting to think about how we want to accessorize this. We know there's a few things that we for sure need, like a cooler for food, uh, a fan. Storage. Storage, water cooler that kind of thing. But if anyone has any ideas of what they think we need for accessories, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear some thoughts. Obviously, this is our first time doing this, so we're new to this, and I'm sure there's lots of things that you know some of you might know that would come in handy. We'll see you in a week or two when we have this thing fully decked out and accessorized, hopefully. And we're gonna finally take it on the road. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.